Tonight, facing an FBI investigation, former House Speaker Glenn Cassida announces he will not seek re-election to the State House. News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams first uncovered many of the controversies surrounding the Franklin Republican, and he's been looking into what this may say about the criminal case. Cassidy's announcement comes 10 months after an FBI raid on his home and legislative offices. Individuals close to him insist his decision not to seek re-election next year was made independently of that criminal investigation. That after nearly 20 years in the legislature, Cassidy had decided it was time. As the sun was rising back in early January, our cameras were there as Cassida, still wearing his bathrobe, opened the door to his Franklin condo to FBI agents. They searched his home as well as his legislative offices, hauling away boxes of evidence. That investigation appeared to be linked to questions about shadowy companies that Cassida may have used as fake fronts for campaign activities. Do I know who Phoenix Solutions is or do I know who... I don't think anyone knows who Dick's Lane Strategies is. <laughs> <laughs> Just last week, state campaign finance regulators expressed frustration. $72,961.77. About their continuing inability to track those monies. Do you drive anyone for votes for the SA vote? Oh, that's ridiculous. What News Channel 5 investigates had also uncovered allegations about incentives Cassida offered when he was House Speaker to pass the governor's school voucher bill. The Franklin Republican denied any wrongdoing. Cassidy was later forced to resign as House Speaker after a texting scandal uncovered by News Channel 5 investigates. I checked with multiple sources who told me that there is nothing believed to be imminent with the criminal case right now that might have prompted Cassidy's announcement. Bill Williams, News Channel 5 investigates.